Well, what I want to explain to you is the setup guy. Each one of these Alumma Pros, depending on the length, has what's called a sup value, a setup value. And the whole idea is to minimize your tension back here on your drive rolls and the machine. And the drive rolls and the gun, those are going to be your workhorse. You want those pulling harder than these are pushing. Right. That's essentially what that's Set up values at 147, you set up at 147. If you have a 35-foot gun, longer gun, and you ever get a help five code, it's just it's it's a safety code. It's just saying that there's too much tension going on these drive rolls back here. So what you can do is you can increase this. You also have this is a lumber start. Now this this comes into play for heavy play a little. You're doing a lot of half inch, heavy, heavy stuff. On aluminum, the starts are what, is what's cold. It's usually you start out and it's going to be nice and big ball of blob, you know, big ball of aluminum wire at the start. You get halfway down the wire and then it finally starts wetting in and looking real nice. Well, this, depending on the heavier plate, you can turn it on. So it's going to give you extra. Extra kick right at the start and make sure it washes in the start. Mm -hmm. It automatically adjusts as well. So depending on what type of plate, on the heavier plate, you can set it on auto and it sets it automatically. Typically for the lighter stuff, I tend to turn it off. Just because we don't need a lot of heat on our, you know, a the short piece like that. Short piece like that. You also have crater control. Mainly for the robotic side of stuff. But uh, the end of the, at the end of your welds, the last thing you want is a big old divot. Yeah. We have it open right now. We turn it on, automate it. It's going to give you a boost and a little bit of extra wire at the end. Just to fill the really? Set up the machine is cake. All right, we got two buttons. When you're dealing with pulse, you're going to do setup time. First, you tell what type of gun you're going to be using. Right now, we have the Aluma Pro. If you have a spool gun, you have a spool gun. If you have XRA. These are all the different type of guns you can do. If you're pulsing regular solid wire or running a regular mid gun, take the mid. We're on Aluma Pro right now. Hit the setup button again. Now we're processing. Do you want a pulse or do you want a mid -blast? You can take it out of pulse and you can do your standard short arc transfer or you can do a spray transfer. So you don't have to pulse. It's the, the capabilities of the machine are so vast that you can customize it and do it however you want.